Good evening and a very warm welcome to the programme. They're called the so-called hidden homeless Londoners, many of them young who don't have anywhere to live but who aren't usually included in any official statistics. Now City Hall says it has a clearer idea of just how many people are either sleeping on people's sofas or worse. Emma North reports. From the rough sleepers to the hostels, the capital's home to all kinds of people who need somewhere to live. These people we know about, but now we're told there's a much bigger problem, the so-called hidden homeless. They sleep in parks, on buses or on sofas in the homes of people they've only just met. And they quickly learn that having somewhere to sleep comes at a price. Sofa surfing to us is not sleeping in your auntie's sofa for the next three weeks. Young people tell us that there's normally strings attached to that sofa and that can be sexual exploitation, physical, mental abuse and often those young people become almost slaves within that system. This young woman speaks three languages and is a qualified musician. She works in a coffee shop. She's asked us not to show her face in case she loses her job. One man she lived with only offered her a bed on condition that she married him. I was lucky, but some of them won't be lucky. Maybe this has led to a human traffic or, or even to be killed, who knows? But I was lucky to, to finally stop it and like get away from it. City Hall now says there are 13 times more so-called hidden homeless in London than rough sleepers. Up to 12,500 young people a night are homeless, sofa surfing or worse. But only one in five young people are asking for help, meaning more and more of them are slipping through the cracks. They don't now get a lot of help from local authorities. LGBT young people in particular can suffer from family breakdown and not be able to get any support that way. Um, also, uh, people fleeing domestic violence. Uh, the, you're supposed to be classified as vulnerable and get help from the council in that situation, but actually proving that that's a problem for you. People are finding that they, they can't. The mayor's office says they've seen the rise in rough sleeping effectively halted for the first time in nearly a decade, but it shames our city that so many people still feel they have no choice. The mayor, they say, is determined to make sure all those without a home, including people who are rough sleeping or hidden homeless, get the support they need. A change in the law could help. Soon councils will be obliged to do something. But, say campaigners, affordable housing is the only way many young people will find a home they can both afford and feel safe in. Emma North, BBC London News.